Afternoon all, hope you're well. Well, I'm just gonna do a little video on batteries and charging. Obviously, if you've got a boat, you often have problems with batteries and charging. You want to have your batteries knackered or how charged it is, or if your charging circuit is working on your eight board. It's all a bit of a nightmare, really, but this is just a couple of little tests you can do with a multimeter to check what you're getting. Well, I'm now going to use a multimeter and do a basic test to see how much the battery is charged. All right, that isn't as good as taking it into a battery place where they can totally load test the battery under a lot of load. That give you a true sh true show what the battery's like. That really drop charge the cells and give you a true reading. But this is a, a basic test what you can do in your boat pretty simply to see what's going on. Well, the first thing you do is get your trusty multimeter. Obviously. A battery is DC volts, so you've got to turn the dial round to DC volts. You can see that. Volts, straight line and dashed underneath. That obviously say volts DC in the corner. To see what the charge of the battery is, I've got a clamp here, so I'm going to put that on the negative. And the meter on the positive. And that read 12.86 volts. Well, that's a little high. That's because I've just charged it up. That should read at full charge, at resting about 12.7 volts. So we know that battery is fully charged. Obviously, I've got my little charger here. And I've just charged the battery up. And that's full. But because I've just charged it up, it's not resting. It's just been charged. If your battery has been sat in your boot for a few hours, without being charged, blah, 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 that'll be the state of rest. So if the battery hasn't been charged and it's at the state of rest, these are the voltages you should get. That's straightforward. If that's 100% charged, you'll get be 12.7 volts. 70% charged, you'll be 12.32. 40% charged, 11.9 volts. So that gives you the rust, rough state of charge. All right, that ain't quite as good as getting it load tested like at a company, because they can really give it the big heave and show if there's any cells playing up. Because sometimes the cells will read the right voltages, but under load, they'll break down. But this is just a rough guide that you can do yourself in about five minutes. If you know your battery's pretty good, you can tell where it's been charging up right off a solar panel and that sort of thing for a, if it's been like not been using it for a few days, you don't know the state of charge, whack the light, you meet you on it, and then you can find out quickly and easily. That's a simple little thing, and I do it all the time in the boat, especially with the solar panel on it. I can see if it's been charging up right or in, and see where the state of charge is, whether I've got to take the battery home, or I can leave it in the boat on the solar panel. It's just a rough guide, what's quickly and simply you can do. Another nice thing is to tell if your battery is being charged, whether it's being charged by a solar panel, or it's being charged by the alternator stator on the eight board, or even the alternator on your car. You can soon test this, that's easy. Basically, you've got to test it at its current state, and then test it when the engine started or the solar panel's connected. Because obviously, as we showed earlier, this battery's been charged, so it's not at its state, normal state, that's been charged, so it's got a little bit more voltage than it should do. That's sitting at 12.85 volts, sitting there. So if we put the charger on, same as if you started up your eight board or put the solar panel on, you'll see what you'll see the difference in voltage. Well, I'll now put the charger on it and turn the charger on. That's fully charged. You can see the lights kicked in on the charger the both the green ones are size fully charged so that won't be putting that much voltage into it but you can see that that's now gone to 13.63 volts so that's being charged like car alternators will put it up to about 14 and a half volts then solar panels will put it up to 18 volts roughly so you you can see if that's being charged or not like if you take it off take it off See that, as I was saying, if that's been charged, or been a little bit of voltage into it, 
that's not at a steady state, so that'll, that'll make it seem higher than what it is. But if that's just been sat in there, that should be 12.7. But you know, 12.8, 12.9, just being charged. As soon as you put the charger on it, that'll drop a couple of volts. See that? That'll drop a couple of volts. But obviously that come down quite quickly on this because it's hit the relay in the charger and it doesn't need to be charged that much because that's full. But obviously in your car, that'll be going up to 14.4 volts. Your alternator in your boot will be going up another couple of volts around 14.4 volts. And your solar panel will be going up to 18 volts. So I'll just turn the charger off. And disconnect it. And obviously that's going down pretty sharpish. And after a while it'll go down to about 12.8 volts. So hope you learned something. That's the easy way to test, see how much your battery's charged. And if your alternator or state is working on your eight board or your car or anything. That's really simple. There's not much to it really. So your voltage is slowly coming down as the battery sit more at rest. Well, I hope you got a bit of information out of it and learned something. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.